But security features isn't all that matters when considering the security of an operating system. We care about what is our actual risk in the real world. So one way to consider real risk is to look at the amount and severity of security bugs and vulnerabilities that operating systems have a history of. To do that, we are going to look at cvedetails.com, which is a security vulnerability database containing most of the known security vulnerabilities for applications and operating systems. Have a look at CVE details yourself now and see what the latest data is. If we look at the top 50 list here, we can see the top 50 worst vendors, which is what we're on now. And as of recording, we can see Microsoft is at the top with its 12 products. These will mostly be operating systems. We've got Apple, we've got Linux, and we've got Linux distributions here all in the top 10. And this is for all time. If we look at 2018, we can see we've got Microsoft, Debian, which is a Linux operating system, Apple, still all here for 2018. If we look at the top 50 worst vendors with CVS scores, now the higher the score, the higher the CVS number, the more severe the vulnerability happens to be. So for Microsoft here, we can see 2042 critical security vulnerabilities. So we can see we've got Microsoft, Apple, Linux, and Linux distributions here all in the top of this list. Critical security vulnerabilities, by the way, would be something like a remote code execution bug where you can remotely take over a device by sending it a specially crafted packet or data. So it's a pants on fire type bug. If we look at the top 50 worst products, we can see we've got Linux here under OS, Mac OS, we've got Android for the mobile platform, iOS on the mobile platform, and a Linux distribution here and a Windows operating system, all in the top 10 for products, top 50 worst products. And if we look at the CVS scores, we can see, of course, again, Linux kernel, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Debian, Windows Server, all in the top 10 for products and all with critical security vulnerabilities. So what can we take from this data? First, all operating systems have security vulnerabilities and all operating systems have serious critical security vulnerabilities. So if someone is trying to tell you to move to Linux or Mac because that will solve all of your security problems, that's just a myth. Just look at the data. Other than that, it's hard to take much more from this data. Why? Because there are many biases in how this data is collected. So, for example, researchers spend more time analyzing Windows simply because it's the most popular operating system. Mac and Linux will be less researched. So there should be a bias to finding Windows security books. More obscure versions of Linux will have much less research so we should expect to see less security bugs. That does not mean there are less bugs in the operating system. It just means less have been found. Also, security researchers can get paid for finding security bugs called bug bounties, which incentivizes security research to look at specific products. And particularly, they're not going to be looking at open source products because they tend to not have bug bounties offering money. Another issue a security bug could be recorded as a single vulnerability in one vulnerability database and as several vulnerabilities in another simply based on how it's classified. A bug in Windows could apply to many of Microsoft's operating systems, which means as a vendor, they might get six or so vendor vulnerabilities when it's really one bug for a single product or operating system. Also, Microsoft and Apple do their own security testing, so find their own vulnerabilities. So in this case, it's good to have those vulnerabilities discovered, fixed and listed on here and other databases. There are lots of potential biases in how this data is created. So from this data, the main message we can take from it is that all operating systems have serious security vulnerabilities. It's just a question of time before more issues are found. This is a trend that won't end anytime soon. We will keep finding vulnerabilities, security vulnerabilities in all our operating systems. 
Another metric to consider when thinking about security bugs is how fast fixes come out for these security vulnerabilities when they are disclosed. Microsoft and Apple do a good job of responding to vulnerability reports and produce patches to fix these issues pretty quick. More obscure Linux versions can take longer to fix issues, which is obviously a problem. For more information on bugs and vulnerability reports, read this here, buying into the bias why vulnerability statistics suck.